Okay, morning level threes, uh, mechanics. Obviously, I teach you for electrics, and um, you've all submitted your electrics assessment and assignment, um, which I'm happy for the most part. Like I say, three of you outstanding. You've got your second submissions in. Um, two of you passed it first time, um, which leaves obviously the four of you, um, sorry, the three of you left to make sure you get that done, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to do a number of videos just going over some basic electrics comprehension and knowledge that you should know at your level. Um, I was aware that we, we, I only taught you one hour a week and that has meant that unfortunately we haven't had as much time as I'd have liked together. I hope these videos are going to help you. Every circuit diagram I show you I am going to put into Moodle and I'm also going to put a link into the comments section. I'll pin a link of all of these with a hyperlink to get to that in the Moodle section, okay? So that should help you. Okay, so let's start off. Sorry, I'll just go back. Uh, this resource is level two. Okay, so obviously this is good practice for any of you as, as well, being level threes. You should have an online cloud type software or system that you manage and keep all your resources on because to be absolutely honest with you, that has been a game changer for me. It's allowed me to access absolutely everything from wherever I am. It just all I need is internet access. So let's go to my lighting and auxiliaries. Let's go to one of these pictures. Okay, so let's do, do this first of all. So we spoke about a solenoid. Um, you should all be aware that a solenoid is something that we supply current to and we create electromagnetism. And as a consequence of the electromagnetism, we cause a pin or a armature, if you like, to move in and out like a plunger. So effectively what we're doing is we're changing electrical energy into a mechanical energy or a mechanical input. It's linear, so it goes back and forth. This can be used in a door lock actuator. Um, some solenoids, for instance, if you think about the starter motor, we use a solenoid to obviously engage the big current which draws down from the battery to the starter motor itself, the DC motor. And they're using a number of things across our car. So understanding this technology is really, really important. But we've been over this in loads of detail, but I will put this diagram, as I say, on Moodle, just so you've got it there. That's just explaining the solenoid. Not too interested in that, I've given that to you. Okay, so this diagram um, we've been over. I'm just going to briefly describe it to you again, because it has been some time. So this is the central locking system. And the central locking system effectively what we're doing is we're either diverting current one way for it to unlock or we're diverting current the other way for it to lock and you can see that here the locks there and the unlock is here so if we divert current into the state it's in at the moment present state so the switch is obviously activated here we can see that from the battery we go through a fuse obviously we have a fuse for protection just in case the current um, develops a short circuit short to earth which would cause the current to rise probably going to set fire to the car so we have a fuse there to split in that eventuality so the current comes through up boom it's got a resistor here comes through a capacitor to store that charge comes down through a second capacitor through that and into the unlock relay so this position we're seeing now is unlock the unlock relay is obviously an electromagnet and we divert current down here so that the electromagnet charges and energizes when it energizes it allows a big current to come through here or a bigger current and that will come through this second set of contacts which will be your 30 here and your 87 remember 87 always goes to the consumer 30 is a um, designation for a permanent live you've got pins 85 and 86 for the primary that are being charged by the switch so on that secondary side 30 comes to 87 87 comes into the unlock solenoid and then goes out through a chassis earth via the back of the door lock solenoid here. Alternatively, if we push the lock button, the switch will engage to the lock position. Now, when it engages to the lock position, what we do is we send the current in a different direction. And when we send it in a different direction, what happens is it still comes from the battery, of course. It's going to come down here now. It's going to go through here, through here, and the second capacitor up here and down here into the lock relay. Okay. And that lock relay there is obviously going to be the primary side again, your 85 and your 86. 
which is then going to cause the 30 that comes in here to then close onto the 87. 87 always goes to the consumer, goes to the lock side, and the pin is now in the lock position. You cannot open the door. The reason why you will only have an unlock or a lock is because you never want that pin anywhere else, do you? You either want the doors unlocked to get out of the vehicle, or you want them locked because you're either in the vehicle and driving, or you are shutting the car, locking the car because you're going into your house and obviously for security. Remember, the door locks will work with the immobilization unit, will work with the central convenience unit and the engine ECU. So the engine ECU um, via CAN will understand exactly the position of the locks, because obviously when we immobilize a vehicle, modern vehicles, we look to immobilize the engine control module. And obviously that stops the car from being started. You must have key recognition before the engine will start. And you must have key recognition before obviously these door locks will unlock. But this is a basic overview. Um, I hope that has helped. I'm going to put another video on for another system. So this is just a central lock-in system that we've looked at today. OK, um, please comment. Please let me know how these are going. If there's anything you'd like to see more of or less of, then please let me know. I'm going to try and edit this video um, and try and put some lines in. But forgive me, I'm not too sure um, how this is going to work. <laughs> OK, thanks.